Hey guys, what's up? This is Xantiquire here to bring you another tutorial. This one was a request I saw on YouTube it is a robot that can follow you. This robot's name is Fred. Um, I'll be doing this tutorial quite quickly because it takes about 10 minutes to make and um, that's all the time I have. So, let's get started with our wired thrusters. Wired thruster, force multiplier 100, force minimum 0, force maximum doesn't matter. Bi-directional, yes, collision, doesn't matter, enable sound, doesn't matter, works out of water, check. I'm using Coca-Cola can, use what you want. While I am, wait, let's put this one back here. While I am attaching these thrusters, I'd like to inform you all of the website. Um, would you like you, I would like you to go there. It is on my channel info the link is right there on my channel info it's not very hard to find um, it's not very new but no one's been there except for me and my friend you can uh, request tutorials get your questions answered faster I check that a lot more than um, YouTube and you can um, get high def ver versions of my tutorials so you can actually see them a lot clearer it's amazing so go there. The links on my um, channel info on YouTube. Go there, register, ask questions, enjoy it, love it. So back to Fred. I already said his name was Fred. Flying robot. I still need the E and the D. Right. Okay. So right now we have four thrusters. We have one back here for turning. Hope you are watching. One back here for turning, and two back here for straight. Alright, so we are going to go up here and actually we're going to go down here. We're going to get our target finder. Um, maximum range doesn't matter, however far you want to range. Target players, yes, you can handle all these things yourself. Just do not do target hover balls or target thrusters. It will not work, trust me. Alright, is that crooked again? Why is this crooked? Aha. Alright, and we are going to need a beacon sensor. Well, I'm going pretty fast. Alright, beacon sensor. You want this slightly above your prop. Slightly above your... Fred. By the way, I do not take credit for this. this was already made. I'm just showing you how to make it. Oh, by the way, do that. Um, get get your sensor right click on the sensor and then right click on the target finder to link the two. Okay, um, now oopsie, I'm getting lost. It's pretty late. <laughs> All right, selection, gate selection. Go to value range. Why is everything so crooked? Doesn't matter for this, I suppose. And you're gonna need a greater than gate. And you're gonna need a constant value gate chip thing. Uh, three values of one, negative one, and two hundred. All right. It's time to wire it up. Minimum from your value range is negative one. Maximum from your value range is one. And then the value goes to output bearing. All right. Greater than a goes to either dis it goes to yeah how far away you are and B goes to 200 so is the distance greater than the value yeah okay that's right alright so let's wire up our thrusters the turn thrust will be going to our value range chip And then our backwards thrust will be going to the greater than chip. Wow, I did that six minutes faster than I did the last two tutorial. I'm probably forgetting something important. Oh, wait, I forgot to weld this. It's 
probably backwards again. Hmm. That's interesting. It's backwards. Well, this is the front, I guess. It's designed to be the front. Um, that's interesting. As you can see, this does, in fact, follow you. Why is everything backward? Did I wire something up backward? Everything looked backward. What in the world? Uh... Yeah, it's all backwards. Why is this all backwards? Did I do something to disturb it? Hmm. Well, that's easily fixable. Uh, we're just going to get new thrusters. If it does go backwards, you know, then... Why is that going backwards? Because uh, things... Is this backwards? I mean, is this? I wonder if I rotate this. We're going to trick the object. Alright, we're going to weld that right there. Aha! Alright, if you put her backwards, then um, I go straight. I don't know, it's never done that before. That's pretty interesting. It follows you anywhere you go. I have the thrust pretty well. If you want it to go faster, then um, let it go faster. I'm going to start using Fred in a while, my tutorials. Right, it goes pretty slow. You can see it turns, too. He's turning this way. Slowly but surely. I love Fred. I mean, I still need the E&D, but, um, I can't call him Fred, so I'm calling him Fred. Uh, hope this helped you. If I didn't say it, go to the website, sign up, register, ask questions, comment, and download high-def tutorials. Um, do it. Do it now. Santa Clara signing out.